The Bible says that God is a just judge and He's angry at the wicked every day. Our sin angers God. He's not okay with it. He's not just saying, oh, don't worry about that. Oh, you stole something? Oh, go give some money to charity and we'll sweep that one under the carpet. No. God is a just judge. He cannot excuse sin. He must punish it wherever it's found. If he were to wheel and deal and take bribes, he would be a crooked judge. But God is not like that. He's a just judge. And he will punish sin wherever it's found. The Bible tells us that all liars will have their part in the lake that burns with fire. That's a horrible thing. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. A lake of fire, a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth, a place where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Think about it. If your life is worth anything to you, you owe it to yourself to consider the claims of Jesus Christ, who said that He can grant you everlasting life. Here's the deal. The wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. We, will talk. we do this every time I talk to you. I know, but I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. Okay? Well, I'm going to tell you this. Sure. Your megaphone is over the decibel level. So How you much? can get that on tape. How much? So you need to turn it down. Okay. okay. I have it on Or you're going to be in violation. Okay. So turn it down. Okay. All right. You got that on tape? What's so that's that? your official warning. Sure. Okay, now. What's so that? That's your official warning. What's that's that? your official warning. What's so that? That's your official warning. I'm going to send a guy back here. Okay. Now, what I need is your driver's license. So I can actually cite you for it. So I can actually cite you for it. So I can actually cite you for it. Okay. So let me have your driver's license. For what? For your, you're in violation of the noise ordinance. I wasn't even talking on it. Give me your driver's license. Okay, can you take my driver's license for yes, what? Yes, I am. Yeah, I was talking. Don't matter. I'll find out who was on it. And I'll okay. come back. I'll get back with you. Sir, totally respectful. Not I'm trying to say I just was wondering. I'd like to see the meter. Well, I'm not going to show you. I'm telling you it's over. Okay, but you're not going to show me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's the officer that told me I was allowed to do it up to 85 decibels. He's the one that educated me on this. Now he's saying he can't? Yeah. Now he's saying I'm over, but he won't show me the decibel meter. Yeah, sure you can't say anything about it. Well, I don't know. He's going to cite me, but he's not going to show me the decibel meter. That's not right. So we'll see. Don't worry. It's okay. Just keep asking for spears of us. Hey, Gabe. Gabe. Hey, Gabe. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you. This one's great. At the proper levels. Do you can request to see the city ordinance? Stand corrected. Need your ID. Okay. Now, if I keep going here, you got to pay for what you need. Just walk with him down there. Okay. Ask him to see the decibel meter, okay? neighborhood here come the Christians let's have Christianity 101 for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not a son into the world to condemn the world but the world through him might be saved people that's right he that hath the son is not condemned but he that hath not the Son is condemned already, and that's why we're here. You see, everyone's going to have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Every single person. To give account to everything that was done in their body, whether it be bad or good. And therefore, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's right, it's going to be a terrifying, terrifying experience to stand before a holy and just God without a Savior. You see, God is watching you people right now. God is watching you. And every thought that goes through your mind, God knows. Every word that comes out of your mouth, God hears. And every deed that you do in your flesh, God sees. And one day, you will give account to a holy and just God. You will have to give account to everything, even the stuff that you've forgotten about. You will have to give account before God.
Did you hear that, people? And that, therefore, knowing the care of the Lord, we persuade men. But we ourselves are made manifest of God. That's right. And I trust that they manifest in your consciences also. So I want to let you know that, people. Okay? Judgment is real. Hell is real. God is real. These atheists across the street, you know what God has to say about them? God says in his word, the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. Now why does God call you a fool if you deny his existence? Why does God call you a fool if you deny his existence? I'll tell you why. Because anything made, had designed, had a designer, and anything created, yes, had a creator. See, these atheists do not, these atheists do not reject God because of a lack of evidence. They reject God because they love their sin. These atheists love their sin and they think by not believing in God, they're going to get out of the judgment to come. But don't believe in trucks and stand out in the highway and see if you're not believing in trucks going to keep you from getting run over. Doesn't matter whether you believe them or not, facts are facts. Trucks will kill you. When you run over trucks, you run over a truck, it won't kill you. Well, it doesn't matter whether you believe in God or believe in the judgment, judgment is coming. Whether you believe it or not. Hey, people, guess what? God does not believe in atheists. Therefore, these people must not exist. Remember that, people. The fool said in his heart, there is no God. And I want to tell you something else. Parenting is a ministry. You want to raise your children up to go to heaven. You don't want to raise them up to go to hell. Okay? You don't want to raise them up to go to hell, people. So think about that, Mrs. Atheist, that is bringing your child out to this wicked place, making them hold up a sign that say God is fake. You are raising your child to go to hell, and God will hold you accountable. The Bible says it's better that you tie a millstone around your neck and threw it into the water. All right, then to go, then to hurt one of his children. And when you do not teach your child how to go to heaven, teach about Jesus Christ, then you are teaching him how to go to hell. So what are you going to do when you wake up dead, people? The Bible says it was appointed once for the men to die, and after that, the judge. Yeah, they, they went and got the other cops. They were so mean. I was trying to be respectful and and uh, respect their authority and make sure they knew that I was not some jerk, you know? Oh, I could tell by the game. And they wouldn't have it. They just wanted me to, they wanted somebody to go down. You didn't sign it. They told me, if I didn't sign it, they were going to take me to jail, because that's resisting arrest. And they said that, when I said, okay, I'll sign it, if I can see the decibel meter, they told me, they're not going to show it to me, they don't have to show it to me, and I better sign it or I'm going to jail. And I said, sir, if you show it to me and show me I'm in violation of the law, I'll be glad to sign it. And they said, no, we don't have to show you anything. You got so-and-so minutes or seconds until we haul you off to jail. And I was like, sir, I'm trying to respect you. I just want to see how I was in violation of this law. You know, we told you we'd be glad to turn it down. And we're not trying to get in your face or... or disrespect your authority, we just want to do, you know, exercise our right lawfully. And he said that if I didn't sign it, even without seeing the decibel meter, that I was going to jail. Illegal. Yeah. Yeah. That's the black guy with the black guy with the bald head. Yeah. Yeah, he did say that if I didn't uh, sign this thing, I was going to jail. And the undercover guy, that, that other guy, was he... Out of uniform? Yeah, he's he's and a police officer as well. Apparently he cussed out one of your buddies over there when he gave him the good test. Yeah, he told me about that actually over there. He said one of your... I asked him, I said... Uh, I, he said as he, was, as he was filling this out, he wanted me to sign a duplicate. And I said, well, sir, let me check and make sure they match first. I want to make sure they're the same thing. And he said... Just sign it. I don't lie about these things. I just said, sir, I need to check. I said, have you ever lied before? And he said, yes, everybody has. And I said, what does that make you, sir? And he said, oh, your friend over here already gave me this test earlier. And I, I told him, I don't know what he said, but he sounded, sounded pretty angry about it. So I think that's why he shut us down.